Hey guys, Logan here. Thank you for clicking on a new video from me, I really appreciate it. If you are to enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more content. So today we got the fall update for Battlefield 5. In this update we got a lot of new features and options for the community games that will help players create some great custom servers and even set up some amazing hardcore servers that I know many players have been waiting for. Yesterday I released a video covering all the new community game features and options so go check that out after this one if you like to. Okay, full update. We got a lot more than just some new options for the community games in this update. The one thing I'd like to mention first here is the new weapon the dice snuck into the game. The Lad Machine Gun is now available in Battlefield 5. Unfortunately the Lad Machine Gun is only available in the practice range so far but perhaps they will put it in the main game in the future. This is a Russian machine gun that was developed by the Russians, of course, between 1942 and 1943. Nice surprise by DICE to add this. But this got me thinking, what else did DICE put into the game after this update? Perhaps some new easter eggs for us to find or something else we don't know, we find out later on. But it's real interesting to think about. We also got two new elites in the game, Jonathan McNeil and Siegfried Albrecht. I think I pronounced that right, I don't know. These two come with their own backstory, new animations and assignments to unlock their unique melee weapon. Looks nice. And in addition to everything else we got, we got a ton of new skins added to the game. More than 200 cosmetic items have been added to the company. I'm talking like 113 vehicle skins, 69 airplane skins, 28 airplane nose decals, 25 headgear items, 7 more face paints and 4 weapon skins. And that's a lot of skins. I think DICE is releasing everything they have ready for the game right now. No point of holding back. And as I said in my previous video, we got a lot of fixes, tweaks and improvements in this update as well. If you'd like to read the whole list, I will leave the link in the description. But I don't think I will bore you with reading them all. So go there and check them out. A lot of map tweaks and fixes and yeah, go read them. But I think that's all for now for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content and hit that like if you enjoyed the video or dislike if you didn't. Make sure to leave me a comment down below with your thoughts. And I hope to see you in my next one. This is Logan, signing out.